Google Scholar is a great alternative to Google if you are looking for scholarly works from academic publishers, professional societies, and elsewhere on the internet. We are going to run a search in Google Scholar to point out where you can find papers that cite a particular work, search within the subset of citing papers, and also get alerted by email when a work is cited. Let's type in citation metrics and take a look at the search results. If we were interested in this first result on assessing citations with the eigenfactor metrics from neurology, we may want to know if it has been cited anywhere. Citation counts are found under the excerpts and they come from two different places, from Google Scholar and also from Web of Science. You may not see the Web of Science citations if you haven't signed into Google and are not on the McGill network, but I'll show you what we can see here. This brings us directly into Web of Science for the full list of articles that cite the one we are interested in. We can review them here and return to Google Scholar when we're ready. Let's go back to also view the cited by option in Google Scholar. The cited by number in Google Scholar is 60 compared to 28 in Web of Science. The number of citations is higher here because it is not limited to items in the Web of Science database but you do have to look out for repeats and there will also be items in other languages that will make it difficult to verify if citations are correct. At the bottom of the page we have a create alert option. We will be able to create an alert to receive an email whenever this document is cited. At the top of the page there was also this search within citing articles option if we check this box, we'll be able to search within the citing documents. For example, let's search to see how many of them mention the impact factor. There are 52 of the 60 citing documents that also mention the impact factor.